We're going to do something here that I think y'all will like. <coughs> Piece of coax. Um, <coughs> okay, just just piece of coax right here. Two connectors right here. Uh, this piece right here, I happened to take a ruler and measured it. I measured it, okay, it's 18 feet long. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to leave it open, and let's pretend like this thing's got an open in it. Well, we don't have to pretend. It does have an open in it on both ends. Okay. We're going to find out where that open is. Where do you think that open ought to be? Trick question. <coughs> okay. I'm going to do what now? <coughs> Can't hear. <coughs> Can't hear good. All right. Let's see. Where am I here? <coughs> Okay, what we're going to do, the distance to fault is in the advanced two mode. To get to the advanced two mode, you just push both buttons at the same time. Advance one, advance two, let up on it. First thing it says is, what is the velocity factor of that coax? Well, you can go to the handbook, go to the manufacturer's data, look up the velocity factor, or you can measure it with this thing. Okay. Well, it just so happens that the velocity factor of this piece of coax is 0.66. Let's see, let me make sure. <clears throat> yeah, 0.66. How, How you would change that? How you would change it? With the button. Yeah, you just push, it, push the gate button, it goes up, push the other when it comes down. <clears throat> All right. Okay. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> uh, you accept that value by pushing the both buttons at the same time. <coughs> All right, see that? See that first right there? <coughs> it's blinking. All right, what we're going to do <coughs> is to sweep the frequency <coughs> until you get <coughs> uh, a short. Uh, uh, X equal to zero, R equal to zero, and impedance goes to zero. Um, the way this thing works is if you have a uh, quarter wavelength of coax, leave in one end open, the other end can look like the opposite of it, can look like a short. If you short this end, it's going to look like the opposite of it, it's going to look like an open. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to leave that open and we're going to look for a short. All right. Y'all help me find it. Let's see where. All right, look at the reactance here and the impedance meter. It doesn't show the R. That's what we're looking for is that. Just keep sweeping it. Watch for that to go to zero and that to go to zero. Come up here. Okay, how about that? Now you have to uh, you have to accept that frequency. <coughs> Push the gate button, accepts it. Now, if you look at over here, it says second. You got to do the same thing. You got to find the very next frequency where x is equal to zero and the impedance is equal to zero. Okay, you can go up or down, just the next frequency. Okay. So I'm going to sweep, I just go up, <coughs> and I just keep s sweeping it until I find the next frequency. I, I left off at 10, so I'm going to set it back down here, start at 10. <coughs> that's what it was, that's where it was zero. I'm going to sweep up in frequency until I find x equal to zero, and oops, past it. Uh, is it coming down? Uh, Ah, let's go. Whoa, wait a minute. Both of them got to go to zero. In this case, only the X went to zero. The impedance meter did not. Okay, so let's keep turning the knob until we see both of them. Okay, there it is. Now you accept that frequency and you push the button, gate button. 
What did that say? 18.3. We found it open. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Let's see if it's true that it can be an open or short. Let's put a short on it. Let's see if we can do it. Stick. This is a coax thing. I'll put a piece of wire in there to short it out. Okay, I'm going to screw it on the end to short it out. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, what I'm going to do then is again, uh, uh, I'm going to start over. Yeah, both of them got to go to zero. It shows the magnitude of the impedance, both to R and to X, the whole impedance. Okay. <clears throat> Okay. <clears throat> Do what now? Yeah. Okay, I got it. Right. Good point. All right. Uh, yeah. In that mode, the gate makes it go up. The mode makes it go down. Okay. Once you get it to the right one, you accept it by pushing both buttons. Okay. Push both buttons. It accepts it. <clears throat> Goes to distance default. That, number, that first thing right here blinks. You sweep the frequency. I'm just going to keep going up, okay? You just got to find two frequencies next to each other where the impedance goes to zero. All right, let me sweep up and let's see. <clears throat> All right, y'all help me find it now. Remember, X go to zero and the meter goes to zero. Let's see, I'm going to have to switch bands and start it left off at about 26. Okay, I'm going to uh, start where I left off, which was around 26. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to sweep up. Don't let me pass it now. Found it. All right, now you, got to, you accept that. You accept that frequency that you found. Push the gate button. All right, now you go up to the next frequency where it's short again. It's going up. At some point, it should start to come back down. Whoops, did I pass it? No. Nope. Ah, y'all didn't get tricked up that time. <clears throat> Got to look at both of them. Ah, okay, now let's accept it. What did it read this time? Short or an open it to find it. Okay. <clears throat> what 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 good is that besides for finding shorts and open? Let's say you got this old roll of coax that you went to a ham fest and you bought, you know, like seventeen years ago. <clears throat> and I know y'all have that. <laughs> <clears throat> but it's sitting in a corner somewhere, and you're going to put an antenna up. The problem is, you know, you go out there and you put the coax on it, put all that work putting it up. Too short. <clears throat> so that happens. Um, or the coax been there for so long that it's got too much loss. Won't work on two meters. But it might work on in 80 meters or 40 meters. Well, if you got that roll of coax down there, you don't know how long it is. You can use this thing to find out how long it is. <clears throat> Just the old roll of coax, and it can be open or shorted at the end. And then you can, you know, be assured that you got enough coax to run to the antenna. Then you can go into the coax loss mode. That's in the main screen. Push a button until coax loss comes up. And then um, <clears throat> check the coax loss, see if it's too much for two meters, or uh, whatever band you want to operate it on. <clears throat> <clears throat>